Hello again, welcome back. What I want to look at now is the outcome 2 in regards to 2 hyphen 1. Okay, and this tells us about the identify unsafe situations and conditions and take remedial actions. What this means is that uh, in regards to the work that you're doing, It means that when you start work, is it safe to do so? Is there any trailing cables that can trip you up, or anyone else for that matter? Are the ladders you're using safe? Have you looked around to ensure that there is no danger to yourself or anyone else? Okay. Now the rest of this you can read for yourselves. You won't need me to actually read that for to you. But again, taking photos of you carrying out inspections of said items, checking ladders, etc., confirming that these items are safe in full PPE is always part of your portfolio. Okay. You need to state the action you, you took to remedy the situations. For those situations where you found to be a danger, then you need to be able to have that recorded. Okay. Look at the job you're on. Is there hanging cables, uh, pits, potential to fall? What must you do to remedy these situations? Tell us with photos and descriptions. Look around your place of work. Is there anything that you consider dangerous? Tell someone. Do not keep it a secret. In some companies, there are report cards for reporting hazards and remedies. Get one of these as your example, fully completed. Here we're just showing you what electricity is in regards to your safety. Again, this shows you the procedure for working live. Again, bear that in mind for yourself. And I'll just pan over to the text so you can see the text hopefully for yourself. Okay? And that you can read yourself. Now again, here is a flowchart showing you the steps that you should follow when working live. Okay? Again, there is useful information on your in in your on site guide. Okay. We are now going to look at two hyphen two. Assess the work environment and revise work practices accordingly to take account of hazards which could cause harm, including the handling of potential hazards or hazardous materials. Okay. Here we're going to look at materials, tools, equipment. I hope you can see this, of course, um, I'll keep it at a fair size. Okay, here we're simply looking at the changes which you need to record and be aware of. And is there any amendments which have been made to your risk assessment from the prior knowledge or information you had before? Keep a record of all changes. Again, just pan it across, okay. Materials. What are the hazards, hazardous materials do we have in 
electrics. Well, they're quite numerous. Fluorescent tubes, phosphorus powder. Okay. And I'm going to give a further list further on down the line. Let me just again pan out so it can be taken and seen. Okay. And again, here we have some inf additional information which you can log on, which were found online and which was produced by HSE. Now we have we Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment Recycling. Now most electrical equ equipment and stuff now needs to be recycled. That is a directive from the European Union, irrespective of Brexit at this point in time, that will still apply to us. Okay. I'll just pan out a little bit so make sure that we get everything in, okay? So you can see it. Okay. Now again, you can read this for yourself. You don't need me to be reading this for you, okay? So I'm not going to do that. Again, it applies to large household items, fridges, washing machines, cookers, etc. All those items are recyclable. And will come under that directive. Where are your tools? Where are they kept? Are they locked away in a van? Are they in a cupboard? Are they secured at night? And when you come to use them? again for yourself to read through. Now here I've given a example of a typical example of an electrical permit to work. Again, in some cases you will need to have a permit to work depending what job you're on or where you're going to be working. Okay. Again, as a reminder, never work on your own. I remember working as a journeyman electrician. Uh, my electrician, I was the apprentice at the time, and the electrician would always, we would drive up to somewhere in Wolverhampton or Leeds at times. But the electrician was always there on site with me. Um, that was always essential because we found that uh, he, he often had to go up quite some height, uh, high ladders and I was your footman at the time, so I would foot the ladder for him to ensure that it did not slip while he tied it off at the top, okay? Again, just to make sure that this is in cl clarity and can be seen, okay? Again, that would be it, okay? And uh, thank you.